What's the quickest way from zero to 100 grand? I'm gonna be giving out a thousand bucks, but more importantly, give a man a fish, feed him for a day. Teach someone to fish, feed them for a lifetime. Fastest way from zero to 100 grand. I've seen so many bizarre theories on the fastest way from zero to 100 grand. If you want a real one that actually works, I'm gonna do it in real time right here. This is a case study. This may be the most important video you've watched in a while. I know that sounds cocky, but I'm serious. Listen and you'll see. Here's how you go from zero to 100 grand. Even if you don't live in a big city, even if you're have no money to start with, even if you're 18 years old, 80 years old, it doesn't matter. Okay, who here? Josh, Rick, favorite restaurant in LA? Catch. Catch. Catch LA. I asked him before, so I'd have it ready. I'm gonna Google Catch LA. This, this, all right, I'm gonna do it manually. Here you go, you go to Catch LA. This is how I would go from zero to 100. I'd get this person who owns this business to pay me $25,000 this year. And then I'd do it four times. That'd be 100 grand with nothing but the internet. So first of all, you got to do your homework. Step number one, do a little bit of homework. Identify potential customers. You're going to have to get somebody to give you the money legally. This is not how to rob a bank. That could work. but. <laughs> it won't work for long. Um, so I go to Catch LA. I'm doing my homework because I'm going to get a meeting. Number three, meet the owner. Fastest way from a zero to 100 grand. So I do a little homework on a business. It could be any business. I just picked a random one that, we, that my office, somebody likes to eat here. I go to their website. Now, I create the needs list. I'm gonna find everything wrong with this restaurant's website real fast. If I spend an hour on it, I'd find like a thousand things, but let me just do, okay. First up, they have a pop-up of, uh, of YouTube. Let's see, okay. First of all, it's not even a real picture. It's a drawing of a restaurant, which is very bizarre. Okay, let's watch this video, because I'm compiling my list. <laughs> Okay, I'd stop right there, idiotic. Nobody wants to watch a video of the restaurant being constructed. I like the restaurant because I want to eat there. Okay, compile list, video, wrong. Double check my work. Let's click here uh, to look at the video on you. Okay, 10,000 views, is that good? They posted in 2016. Uh, that's not so good for a popular restaurant. They've gotten three comments on a public video in three years. <laughs> you want to know how a video is bad if you get one comment a year. One comment, they don't even get a negative comment, they get no comments. Okay, so that's wrong. Now I look at their homepage. I'm going to teach you guys how to start a social media marketing agency, e-com agency, um, be a consultant. I've trained 285,000 people, but I'm going to do it for free. People are in my paid programs. For those of you who can't afford my paid programs, I'm going to show you right here. This is for real. This is a big restaurant here. They got money out the yin yang. You prove your worth, they could drop $2,500 a month on a recurring contract with you like, and not even notice it. They could drop 10 grand a month. You could get one customer a year and go zero to 100 grand. I'm just being conservative. There's nobody out there, by the way. There's nothing that I've ever seen on the internet right now that's a free video like this teaching you legit stuff to go from rags to riches. I've seen stupid stuff. I've seen unrealistic stuff. I mean, I do different things to make money. I make millions of dollars a month, but a lot of that stuff I can't show to people who are starting out because you can't do it, like real estate. I just closed on, I just bought 600 acres of real estate. I couldn't do that when I was starting out. I can't show you how to do that because you're not gonna be able to, especially the kind of deals that I'm doing, you're not gonna be able to do. But this anybody could do. You could do this at 18 as easily as 50 years old. Because young people, people believe about e-com, social media, and the internet. So look, first of all, why would you have a restaurant picture without the food, without the ambiance? Why would you have a picture of flowers? It looks like a florist. Why would you have your logo so big? Apple.com, the biggest company in history, look how smart they are. Apple's w logo is that big. So I'm compiling my list. Apple's logo is that big. But catch seafood, they decided 
Most important thing to a restaurant experience, we need our logo massive, huge. What does Donald Trump always say? Huge. That's like, what the heck? Okay, next. What's the only reason any human ever goes to a restaurant website? Two things. One, two. Find out when it's open, find out the directions. Possibly number three, the phone number. Do you see directions here? Possibly four to book a reservation. Do you see book reservation here? Do you see the hours here? Here's the phone number, teeny there, almost unviewable. Look at that. Who built this website? They got ripped off. I'm on a compiling my list. Video wrong, no address, no hours. Now, I scroll down, they do show the hours. Is this helpful to people? Look at this. Here, nope. Here, nope. Here, oh, here it is. It's written by somebody who doesn't know American English. It says opening hours. That's not how you say it in America. You say hours. So it's not even written correctly. Contact info, address. Is it clickable? Nope, non-clickable. That's a mistake right there. Okay, they have in the center the most important area of a website, the God spot, timing. The average dining experience ranges from 90 minutes. Woo, thank you for telling me that. I really go to websites. Number one thing I do is go to websites and I go, I wonder what their average dining time is. Chipotle, before I eat at Chipotle, before I eat in a restaurant, I'm like, let me calculate the average dining experience. Okay, <laughs> stupid. Uh, now don't call people stupid or you're not gonna get them as a customer, but I'm just tell telling you what I think. This is actually good, but it's in the low corner. They won some big food award, move that to the top. Now, website, let's look at their social media. Okay, 99,000 followers, they're verified, that's good. This is horrible. Don't ever, use, nobody wants to see weird emoji, like digitally created nightlife. They have a b disco ball, <laughs> woo! Nothing screams place I wanna go to than the disco ball. My, it reminds me, I had a business partner who was like 80 years old a long time ago, and he used to, he used to come to LA and be like, Ty, let's, Let's meet some broads and go to the disco. I swear he would say that. And I'd be like, don't say broads. Do not say discos. There's no discos for over 25 years in Los Angeles. They're clubs and they're women. But do not say, do not meet a, look at that fine dame. <laughs> that dame, that dame should come to the disco. He would also always try to book limos. I'm like, Nobody uses limos really anymore, unless you're in a prom or you're doing your quinceanera at 15 years old. But okay, this website, Disco Ball, no phone number. I know they have multiple restaurants, but they're not listing right here their most popular restaurants addresses. 385 likes on that picture, horrible. This one, 466, they finally got one picture here. They got 1,377, because it has people's faces. Did they ever post a picture like that again? Nope, they're not even doubling down on what works. The people in my social media marketing program, I teach them, double down on what works. This is a gold mine right here. Now look, I'm gonna show you something even more ninja. You don't, you're not even in my paid program, I'm gonna show you this right here. You wanna go zero to six figure? One customer like that will make you $100,000 to $200,000 a year. You run a social media marketing agency, you fix their stuff for them. If you don't know how to do it, you can outsource the work. You can find people on Upwork that do the work. You can find other agencies. You control the client money. There's nothing on the internet. I challenge you, show me one thing that consistently will take people from rags to riches like what I'm showing you right here. Social media marketing agency, e-com agency. Social media marketing agency, I own the trademark on SMMA. I'm just saying that because I've trained the reason the US government gave me that trademark is because I've trained the most people on how to do this. I know what I'm talking about. I've trained 40, over 40,000 people just in this, in my paid programs in over 190 countries. Basically every country on planet Earth. So watch this ninja trick. You go to Google Site Speed. It's a free website that no business owners about, know about. So I'm compiling my list. I'm gonna walk into the owner, get, in, get a meeting with the owner of Catch. I'm not gonna do it, you do it, okay? You take the website, Catch Restaurants website, right here, it's called Catch Restaurants. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna cut and paste it in real quick and I'm gonna analyze. Google does this, I'm gonna print this out, I'm gonna put it in a $1 three ring binder that has the name of my social media marketing agency and I'm gonna hand it to the owner as a free gift. And look how 
professional this is. Did they teach you this at school? Have you seen anybody ever talking about this? No, nobody. Nobody's teaching you this right now. I, I, it's sad in this world. Nobody's teaching people legitimate ways to go from zero to $100,000. I don't care who you are, disenfranchised or not. Look at this, their site out of 100, Google gives them a one. Imagine if you did, a, you did an exam in high school. Oh, how'd you do, uh, Ty? Uh, didn't do so well, Mom. Oh, you mean you got like a F, like a 60? Uh, no, a little worse. Uh, you got like a 50? That's bad. Uh, Mom, I got a one. <laughs> What's your SAT scores? A uh, one. I'm a one. What school can you get into? <laughs> you can't even get into community college with a SAT score of one. Uh, they got a one on their mobile, their desktop, got an 11. So I just come in here, I print this off, I press print screen, print this. Then when I presented it, here's my list for me. Did you know that whoever's running your website, Mr. Catch Restaurant, they forgot to eliminate render blocking resources. They're not deferring off screen images. They didn't minify the JavaScript. They're not reducing server time response time. You might not even know what it means, but you can look right here and understand what it means. Time to first byte identifies the time at which your server sends a response. Their time to first byte is horrible. You're gonna look like Albert Einstein with no college degree. No college degree, you're gonna look like Albert Einstein if you listen to what I'm telling you right now. I can give you, I can give you this 10 grand or I can give you a way to make 10 grand a month. Forever. You get more and more customers. This is legit. So this is a free website, I'd print this off. I then walk in, now what's the next step? I've compiled my list, I've printed off now, people say, but Ty, how would, you get a, how would you ever get the owner to meet with you? Uh, you go and eat at his restaurant or her restaurant. I don't know who owns this restaurant. They might be watching. So here's what I do. Number three, secure the appointment. And just to be clear, for those of you who know this who are in my paid training program, you can also do this for dentists doctors, cosmetic surgeons, real estate agents, they all have the same problem. They all don't know what they're doing. 99.99% of businesses, including large ones, I'll show you big companies that are doing this wrong. I don't recommend you start with the biggest companies, Smart with, start with smaller ones. You set the, secure the appointment, because you gotta talk to them, you gotta hand them this. How do you secure an appointment? Don't just use email, don't just hide behind phone, don't just text, go eat at the restaurant. Or if it's dentist's office, have them clean your teeth. You gotta get your teeth clean twice a month, a year anyway. That's two clients you could secure or work on securing. So you come in there, eat at their restaurant, figure out the time the owner's there, then you go to your server, hey, while you're eating their food, they're not gonna say no to you, you say to them, um, hey, uh, can I talk to the owner? The owner comes out, I go, hey, I got a little gift for you. I own a social media marketing agency. Um, I'm gonna take my blazer off here. This one needs to be uh, tailored a bit. It's, a little, it's too long. Too, too long. Okay. So I get, secure the meeting and I don't try to hard sell them. I don't try to hard sell. I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna present and walk away. I'm gonna do what's called the takeaway. You know, Wolf of Wall Street in that movie is like, sell me this pen. Best way to sell this pen is to just say this simple message to the person you're trying to sell. I notice those pens you have, there's 10 things wrong with them. This one that I work at this company is way better. Anyway, talk to you later. Walk away. Reverse psychology 101. What do people think then? You know the best way to get a date with a girl? Uh, start with the worst way. Here's the worst way to get a date with a girl. Go, please, 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 I really need this date. I really, I'm, I'm lonely, I'm home. Can you please, 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 please? Nah, the best way, you meet a, somebody at Starbucks, you get a lot, you think of potential, you walk up to them, just say, just wanted to say, beautiful outfit you have on. You got good taste. Walk away. Especially if you know that person, maybe they work at the same building, they come back to the same Starbucks, why you gotta be so thirsty and so hungry? You don't have to close this Catch LA client. This restaurant ain't going nowhere. They got a million dollars in equipment sitting right there. That owner, I'm passing it on to him, I'm doing him a favor, I'm saying, hey, I looked at you, I wanna refer my friends to your website, but when I send them to your website, it's a one, it doesn't even load for them correctly, they can't figure out the address, they don't know how to book a reservation, I don't know who's doing it, but here's a little report I had Google, I did with, along with Google, they'll respect Google, it gives your website a one, 
and by the way, that's one out of 100, not one out of 10. It's one of the worst, it's the worst rating I've ever seen. Actually, Catch got the worst rating I've ever seen. I've never seen anyone get a one. We just were messing with it earlier before I went live. Hand it to them, walk away, come back to eat in a week. Say, by the way, I found a couple other things. If you ever want me to just talk to your web people or your social media people, I could probably fix this for you real quick. This guy's got money. Catch LA has money. Mark my words. Most restaurant owners spent two to 500,000 to open their doors. You don't think they have $1,000 a month? 20, I wouldn't even come with my $1,000 package. Then you understand, secure appointment, present, walk away. Man, I'm gonna get this video here ranked. I see all these videos on how to make a mil, this is how you make a million dollars too. You get 10 customers like this. First person I trained to do this in 2016 made a $1.2 million in their first 12 months doing this. So, questions, ladies and gentlemen, who thinks, Sometimes people go, die, your programs don't give any, like I see you on social media, you're not giving any practical advice. Name somebody who ever gave you more practical advice than this right here. Name it. Show me the video, baby. Ecom dropshipping ain't better than this. Even though I teach ecom dropshipping, you think it's more realistic that you're gonna make a million bucks with 10 clients like this? BS, real estate, you really think this is better in real estate? Uh, real estate's better than this, what I just showed you? Everybody knows digital marketing, even Victoria's Secret's going bankrupt because they don't know the digital game. Sears is gone, JCPenney's gone, the youngest billionaire in history used Snapchat and Instagram stories to sell her makeup. Name a video, I wanna see the video. Don't name a person, name the video. I know a lot of people out there are giving advice and that's great. Come on, show me the practical plan. I just showed you, who's the first person gonna call Catch LA? I'm not gonna take it. Go for it, you do it. Go, name a restaurant in your town. There's dentists, doctors. There are 20 million business owners in the US conservatively. There's 19.5 million that don't know anything and they're not even secure in what they're doing, meaning they are aware of the problem. They're aware from, you could do an e-com agency, you could do a social media marketing agency. This right here, is what people should be doing. If you have no money or you don't know what to do, if you have some money, you can make a lot of money in this because you can even accelerate it. You get 10 clients like this, you're making a million bucks a year. You get 10 small clients, you're making $2,500, I have $25,000 a month. People go to school for eight years to become a lawyer and a lot of them do it for the money. Most people didn't go, you know what I want to do? I want to file forms and Nah, there's a few people that want to be lawyers for reasons other than money. Maybe half of them. Half the lawyers are out there because mommy and daddy said you make a lot of money in it. BS. Start an agency like this. Start an agency. The world doesn't need more lawyers. Please, Lord. California doesn't need more lawyers. There's a couple hundred thousand lawyers here all suing each other. Just making money for the lawyers, not for the people. Page speed insight. So, next thing. Walk away. And then build, here's your funnel. The funnel's large at the top. You're talking to 40 restaurant, restaurant. You're not closing them all. Dentists, doctors, cosmetic surgeons. Now guess what happens here? Automatically 50% of people say no to anything you do. I will tell you this, I gave away cars, brand new Mustangs. Out of the 12, I either gave away 10 or 12 cars. Out of the 10 or 12 cars I gave away, two people said no. I said, what do you mean, you won? They said, well, we don't believe this is actually Ty Lopez giving away a car. We think it's a scam. I said, my assistant said, well, Ty, I'll FaceTime you. What's your number? I'm not giving you my number. So you know what I said to you? You part of the 50%, that's stupid. You blocked your blessings. I was gonna give you a car, I gave it to someone else. One of those people figured out it was actually real because I mentioned their name and they came and said, no, 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 I want the car now. I said, sorry, <laughs> you block your blessing, you snooze, you lose. So. 50% of these restaurants just gonna say no flat out. Their mom, their brother, their sister is doing their social media and their website maintenance. They're not gonna get you. They're not gonna, there's nothing you can do. Just walk away. 25% of people are gonna be highly interested. Focus on those. The other, so 25, 50% say no. Just right out the gate. They block their, if, if two out of 12 people that I gave brand new $30,000 cars said no to, Definitely 50% of people you try to sell a service to are gonna say no. So forget about them. 
50%. I had a friend that was probably the best on planet Earth. I used to own a lot of nightclubs. I've been around a lot of guys that think they're good with women. He was the best. I used to call him Mr. X because he didn't want me to say his name on my live stream. But this guy, you've never seen out in public more women throwing themselves at a man than this guy, okay? He used to be the doorman at one of my um, nightclubs in North Carolina. Anyway, I once asked him, Mr. X, I said, um, his, his real name, his name is Drago, his is his name. He's a Puerto Rican and Romanian. Now he told me he doesn't care if I say his name. He was married for a second and he didn't want me to say it. He stayed married for about approximately 33 days and then was like, got in trouble. And I saw his Facebook went from like married to unmarried in under a month. I was like, I told him, I was like, Drago, don't get married. This is, you're not the guy to get married. Um, but I once asked him, do you get rejected a lot? And he told me 50% of the time. Now, which that's pretty good because most guys get rejected 99% of the time. But he's like, I said, how do you deal with rejection? He looked at me, said, Ty, I just am looking for people who have good taste. When people said no to him, he just looked at him like, what is wrong with you? He th now, that may be a little narcissistic, but again, you're bringing a badass service to a restaurant that's getting a one. If they reject you, just be like, bat, bat. They have no idea who should be helping them. They got nothing. So 25% of people are laters. They're not maybes. See, people think a maybe is a no. BS. If, uh, uh, usually a maybe is a later. They're not ready today. They're busy. And 25% of people are what I call highly interested, meaning you can close this 25% between one day and six weeks of talking to them. There you go. Zero to 100 grand. What are the questions? What are the questions? Now, I'll, I'm gonna answer one of them. But number five, you have to know how to charge them. You gotta know how to charge them. Please do not offer your three month service for $20, nothing. It's a thousand bucks minimum per month. They can cancel anytime. Sometimes you can get them, convince them to sign a multi month or even multi year contract. It's a little harder. I recommend 1000 for your basic package, 2500 for your more advanced and then five to 10,000 if you're gonna run Facebook ads for them, okay? This is, and you can charge a setup fee, but whatever, this is a good, this works well, right here. Stick with that. Let's say you average $1,500 a month per client. Five clients get you to six figures, five in America, five. Now you say, Ty, I live in a small town, okay. Start emailing some people, start DM DMing some people, start getting on some phone calls. Take a trip, baby, move. <laughs> people always go, oh, all right, I'm gonna fall down. Well, so do lots of people and they move. Or you move and then you go back to your small town, take a week off, go get some customers. New York City, man, New York City is full of half empty restaurants where their rent is $20,000 a month. This works, I started teaching in 2016, uh, then I built SMMA 2.0. Then I built Ecom Agency where you can do this with not just restaurants, but you can do it with people selling physical goods. This thing consistently, I have so many testimonials on my phone that I almost am like, if I show people this, they won't even believe them. Two people didn't believe I was giving a car away, even though I was on the news and all over the place giving away cars. So do the math. Can you do this in India? Absolutely. I was just at Grant Cardone's 10X conference. A girl came up to me at the end. She said, Ty, I want you to know I flew all the way here from India. I've got, she's doing, I can't remember if she's doing SMMA or e-com agency, but she's making $4,000 a month, which she says is the equivalent of like 10 to 15,000 a month in American dollars in India. Because if you live in India, you can get customers in America. You can get customers in Australia. Stop, there's no constraints anymore. There's no constraints. Ty, what do they say when they ask what do the other packages offer? This is basically like $1,000 a month, what I would do is you're the head quarterback. They already have their own, let's say, they already have their own website designer. You'd work with them. You would work with their social media person to say, okay, let's post more of this and less of this. For $2,500 a month, I'd start doing the work for them. And if they want you to send them customers, this is where the money is, I'm going, I'm charging 
five to 10,000, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna spend some of that on Facebook. That doesn't all go in your pocket. This, most of it can go in your pocket. This here, if, let's say you charge 10 grand, you'll say, look, I charge $2,500 out of that 10,000 for me to do the work, the Facebook ads for you. 7,500 is spent on Facebook, okay? So you're bringing in 10,000 and you're netting 25% margins. That's great margins. You can manage five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, uh, businesses and you're making $2,500 a piece. If you got five, you're doing over $10,000 a month. If you have 10, you're over 20,000. It just works. It just works. It's not going to work forever because I've already trained 40,000 people to do it. The window is narrowing, but it still works because more and more businesses are going bankrupt. Ty, do we need a certification to start a social media agency? You do not. You can start. I have a four month certification program. I didn't even do this to sell, but anyway, I'm doing a spring sale. I'll talk about that in a second. I'm giving my top four programs for 2,200 bucks off for spring is here, baby. What do they say in uh, Game of Thrones? Winter is coming. Winter is leaving. Winter is leaving. I don't know where you are in life, but if you haven't jumped on this train, I'm like, what, what are you doing? People go, should I go to college? Well, yeah, go to college, but do this first. Do this simultaneously. Do this concurrently. Why not? Get two customers. I went to college for one little quarter, NC State. I worked at the cafe or something. I made $80 after taxes in two weeks. I was like, this is not sustainable. You know, I was even in state. It was a thousand bucks or whatever per, and plus textbooks were $400. And I was making 80 bucks every two weeks. I said, this isn't sustainable. This isn't sustainable. What are you doing right now? Is this sustainable? Ty, I started SMMA two weeks ago and been reaching out to business start phase two. <laughs> Your friend Drago is from Game of Thrones. Here, let me just start. Here's a check right here. Look at this. Usesh. This, I, I'm going to start scrolling through the testimonies of people doing this. I have a private Facebook group for everybody that's in my paid program. Check this out. He wrote, here's his check. $7,200 check. $7,200 check. Right there, made out, you can see, he lives in Pleasanton, California. He said, yeah, he got paid 7,200 for two weeks of work. Let's just go through this. Tell me when to stop. Here, look, look, let me show you in WhatsApp. There's 1,091 testimonials I just keep. Tell me when to stop, Sam. Uh, stop. That's the one I stopped on last time. Do a different one, people are gonna think it's fake. Oh, I forgot, this is where you forget to back up your WhatsApp. I gotta grab my other phone. Let's see. Hi, Ty. My name is AJ. I've been in Ty's program since December 26. Here's a video. Oh, he shot a video. I went from averaging only $300 a customer to over $2,500. Ring the bell. $4,000 signed for my gym owner. I forgot to mention, go to your gyms. Go to your gyms. Watch this. Who else want, who needs to see a second case study? Just to know this is for real. Watch this. Gym, Los Angeles. Let's just go. I'm not even going to pick one of the big gyms. Granite Gym. You ever heard of Granite Gym? It's not even a chain. Let's go to Jan Granite Gym. Let's go to their website. Oh, those are great. First, I'm gonna tell them, did you know what shows up? Look, here's another thing you can fix for them. So Google gives you a business listing. Look what they're showing as their business linking li listing photos for their gym. This is a gold mine. Charge them a thousand bucks to fix this. It's showing the outside renovation with everything, can you see that? Mm -hmm. That's insane. I'm walking into them, I'm going, bro, when people Google you, they're seeing, oh, look at this, this is a nightmare. There's nothing good about this website. They don't have a video, there's no people in it. It looks like, I thought that was blood. <laughs> Granite Gym got, <laughs> they got a murder in the building and then they documented it on their homepage. I bet you these people know a lot about running a gym there, it's Grant Roberts and trainers. I don't know who this is. America's most exclusive gym. Well, if you're going to run America's most exclusive gym, you may want to have a website that's decent. Let's go over to our Google site speed. Let's see what our page speed insights are. Remember, it's not just speed you want. There's other things that you want. You want it to render correctly on a mobile phone, for example. Why is this? All right, here we go. Granite gym. Let's look at their social media. Another potential customer that right here, Granite Gym Instagram. Another, 
this guy probably spent three hundred thousand to build his to build his gym. Still a forty six out of a hundred, better than a one. But imagine coming home from school. How'd you do uh, on your your exams? Oh, I did pretty good. Oh, you got a ninety five, an A? No, a little lower. Oh, you got a seventy? You got a D? No, no. <laughs> you got a forty six? You're gonna get your butt beat by your parents. Now look, their desktop got an 83, which is average. So don't let them rest on their laurels. Let's look at their, let's look at Dranit Jim's. Oh no, I'm already worried. There's 12 posts and 248 followers. You're not gonna be able to call yourself America's most elite gym and go, and I have proof. 248 people have approved me. No, I mean this, they get 610, this is not good. Walk in, fix this. It's a smaller business. I would only charge a thousand bucks to fix it on retainer. They get a whopping two comments per video. Two. Say, my friend, we're gonna have to fix this for you. Why'd you spend three hundred thousand dollars opening a gym and you spend three dollars on your website? You spent three hundred thousand dollars on your gym and your equipment. You leased a building and you and you got a you got an Instagram worth fifty bucks. You see what I'm saying? This is legit opportunity. Forget what everybody's telling you, oh, this is how you're gonna make money. You wanna go rags to riches, you start a social media marketing agency or an e-com agency, that's the start. Then you can do drop shipping of your own products, you can do e-com, you can do Amazon. Then you can start reinvesting the profits back in real estate. You should repair your credit so that you can start running some of this on a credit card. Not getting yourself into debt, but building assets with a credit card is different than building debt you know, consumer debt. Um, GG Compass says, I made $2,000 in your program. Ty, should we do the first month free to prove the service? Do not. What you got to prove? What Prove what? No, do not undersell yourself. For those of you who go through my four-month program, you, gotta, you have a certification from me. It's not a college degree, but name a college professor who knows more about social media than me and my team. You know, name one that, name a, name a professor, name a Wharton professor that you're gonna get $80,000 a year for Wharton MBA. Me and my business partner Alex did a billion dollars in online sales and spent $500 million on social media, more than 500. I posted a picture of an S1 public filing of one of my business partner Alex's company showing 500 million in marketing spent digitally. So you learning from the best that I know not even all me, just to be clear. So I gotta go. What time, is Alex already down here? Uh, not that I see Mike and so here's the thing. I actually started out going live because <laughs> I was gonna announce the next, I'm gonna do my four top mentor programs. I'm gonna put a link. What is the URL? Spring live. For spring here. We're gonna close this up here in a minute. But for spring, I'm gonna do my top four programs. The Social Media Marketing Agency Program, Ecom, Real Estate Investing, these are all my mentor programs, and How to Repair Your Credit. Those programs right there, I'm gonna do, normally those are 2,200, whoa, is it 22 or 2,500? Yeah, normally they're like 2,500 bucks. We're gonna cut $2,200 off of it. Or you can just buy, if you're already in one of the programs, you can just buy a, another one. Is it 97 per or something like that, Ben? 197, you can buy them individually for 197, one-time payment, not recurring. I'm not really trying to sell you stuff, but I see a lot of you being like, how can I get in this? So uh, if you wanna save $2,200, if you wanna wait till spring sale is passed, no problem. This would be, uh, I'll make more money that way. Oh, perfect. Oh, I got more time. Yeah. They're coming here. Yeah. I'm working on a big, we have a lot of, we own a big investment company and we got some people flying in from Boston. So I was supposed to go all the way to LAX to meet them, but they're coming here. Cool, I got some more time for you. So you can pay, you can get all four of them for 497 or you can do 197 each. If you buy the bundle, you save the most money. Anyway, let me not, uh, the link is either in the, below or it's on your little social media or what is the link? tylopez.com slash spring live. 
Do we have the list of everything they're going to get? <laughs> How many things has it been? What? There's 68 different areas you're going to learn in this. It's going to be more than you actually need. I'll pull it up. We'll pull it up. It's not even six. There's way more than 68 lessons, but we broke it out into like, what are you going to learn for that? It's like 68 things. I know some of you can't afford it. So if some of you can't afford it, fine. Just use what I taught you in this free thing right there. It's not as good as if you go through the full program, but you can already know better than more than Catch LA. You can already know more the, than Granite Gym, America's best gym, says four people. There we go. Cut to it. Yeah, here's all the things you're going to get. I don't even know if I have time to read all this. <laughs> Starting the LBA can help you find more clients. The secret Google key phrase that helps you find businesses already paying at least $345 a month for video marketing. How to get Facebook video views for less than 0. .00002 cents each, a four letter acronym. We're going into e-commerce, three free websites where you can find niche products to sell at at least three to 400% markup if you wanna start selling your own stuff. Five specific ad templates that build a $20 million a year marketing agency. I'm giving you templates, I'm giving you scripts, I'm giving you exactly what to say. So, uh, yeah. Hey there, Chief, drop by to say hello, but got to go to sleep. I'm giving this a shot tomorrow, then I'll try and buy the programs. Yeah, if you don't have any money, if you're truly rags to riches, just go out and start hustling. If you got a teeny bit, by the way, this comes out to four programs. It's 16 months worth of training. But I mean, I would do them all within the next four to six months. You just watch, they're just on your phone. It's a password protected site. You log in, you get a, don't share it with anybody or I'll lock you out. It's just for you. You listen to them audio, video, do 10, 15 minutes of training a day. This year is gonna be your year. This year is going to be your year. I can tell you from going from, I've been from rags to riches. I know there's people out there teaching. Some of them have been from rags to riches. Some haven't. But I spent most of my teenage years in a mobile home. Now, I wasn't the poorest person in the world, for sure. I always had enough food, but, you know, you're not really balling growing up if you live in a mobile home. That's one, one thing I've discovered. You know what? I found the mobile home. It's still on, it's still there. It's on Google Earth. And you can like zoom in and they added a little, it's like so cheesy. Whoever lives there now added a little like roof so that when you come in, cause we just had it where you walk in, like if it's raining, you just like bring the water and they added a little, looks like they built it with like paper mache. So um, when was SMA 330? You mean 3.0? You've been there? Somebody said they've been to my most, you've been to my, where I grew up? I doubt it. Um, let's see. Questions. Who has a question on anything that I taught here? Ty, your offer is even cheaper. Dude, this, this is not my normal price. So for those of you who wait, you're going to have to pay the full price. I just wanted to announce this. That's the real reason that I kind of did this, but I want to just give like free value to people that go, oh, is this realistic? Like, this is realistic right here. What about under 16? You can, I've seen, but you gotta get your parents' permission. They're coming here? Yeah. Good. I told you, I said, tell them. Alex, my business partner does not always believe me. And then after he's like, oh, I believe you. <laughs> Ty, do you have a sale on the e-com agency course? That is not part of this. That's a real new one. But these four are my most tried and true. Ty, what do you think about Robin Hood? That's fine, but you got to have money in Robinhood. <laughs> Robinhood's just how to invest in, like, in the stock market and stuff. Well, if you don't have any money, it takes money to make money. That's the problem with all these things that people say. Well, what do you do if you don't have much money? What do you do if you don't have much money? So, someone said this is ridiculously realistic. Yep, I agree. It's amazing. I've been talking about this since 2016. And a crazy amount of people got in, but you know how many people in the same time that I launched this program that actually works, 10 million people went through college and got degrees that they'll never use again. They got art history. They got freaking English. I meet people with English degrees. Oh, what, what's, your, what's your native language? Oh, I was born in America. Oh, you mean you speak English? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, but you got an English? You mean you got a piece of paper? Oh, that didn't cost you much, right? Because you already kind of knew English. No, 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 no. I, I spent four years of the prime of my life uh, getting an English degree. Oh, really? Why? Oh, I don't know. Uh, you have to, that's how you become a writer. Is this list not 
have like Did, underwater civilization yeah. degree. Like that person we met. Oh yeah, we had someone who had an underwater civilization degree. I'm like, just get some scuba gear, get a job, you could you could pioneer underwater civilization. But these English majors, Ernest Hemingway, you don't write better. I meet people that are very bourgeois. Well, you need this to write. You ain't better than Ernest Hemingway. I've read Ernest Hemingway. I just read one of his books. What was it? Bountiful, whatever. You're not better than Ernest Hemingway. He had no college degree. And let me tell you, you're definitely not better. William Shakespeare. Hey, William, got something for you. You really want to be a good writer, my friend? Let me put you in debt, $80,000, at a small private college where the degree won't get you even one job. And let me get you that English degree you've always needed. Uh, but I basically pioneered the English language as we know it. No, but you don't have a college degree. Writers need degrees. I get people arguing with me. Oh, I, I, po I posted this on Instagram. Um, I said, this kid last year made $22 million, okay? Seven years old, made $22 million per year on YouTube. So somebody commented, I don't know if I'll be able to find the comment here, but somebody commented, Actually, it's, it shows up on my Insta. This dude trying to hate on my video and this kid. He goes, this is one of my favorite comments that somebody's ever posted. Okay, 2,300 comments. <clears throat> Dalla Luca here writes, Ty, grammar is still important. So you won't talk like a monkey when you grow up. Well, monkeys can't <laughs> talk at all, bro. So there's no grammar for a monkey. But I just wrote back, uh, Dalla Luca, I'll take the 22 million as a seven-year-old with lifelong bad grammar. I'll be talking like a, like a caveman. You give me 20, 22 million at seven years old. If you compound it using the rule of 72, you're a billionaire by like 30. You can pay someone else to speak for you. I wouldn't even speak anymore. People were like, that tiger I got bad grammar. I would just like, I'd have like two people. I call them my grammicians. They're just gra grammaricians. They walk with me. Somebody asks me a question, I go, and they answer, wherefore art thou, <laughs> Romeo? They speak in perfect English for me. Who cares? Come on, people. The death of common sense is now upon us. Seven-year-olds make 22 million, and their best comeback is the kid's wasting his time. The kid is wasting. He definitely should be learning what a dangling participle is. Because we all know there's only two things that have ever helped me in life. One was having millionaire mentors. Second, dangling participles. When I didn't know the difference between there, there, and there, my life was in chaos. I, I would go to pay my bills. I'd have no money. And Bank of America would go, we're going to give you a pass. What's the difference between who and whom? And nobody knows the difference between who and whom. And when I say nobody, somebody probably knows that's very proud of the fact that they know that, and they're unimportant for planet Earth. Really. If you understand anything about language. Anyway, let me not even get on this stupid stuff. The world's so stupid that when I teach a legitimate, people are like, this is, must be scamming people, but $1.2 trillion in college debt is totally legit. One of the most profitable centers of the U.S. government is student loan interest. That means the U.S. government profits off its own 18 and 19 year olds. I'll tell you the best thing to do at 18 years old. Get your finances in order. Go experiment with a lot of stuff. Go work in 12 different industries in 12 months. Go live in four different countries. You know how to live in four different countries? Build an agency, have two or three clients back in your hometown. Travel, they don't care if you're there. You can run Facebook ads from any internet uh, any internet source, any country in the world. My friend right now, I taught him, my best, one of my best friends, we've been friends since I was two, Jeremy. I trained him, he, he was getting a law degree. I said, come work for me. I'll teach you how to be an entrepreneur. He came, he moved from Maine to Raleigh, North Carolina. Some of you, my first YouTube video in the Lamborghini, that guy sitting next to me, that's Jeremy. I said, I'll teach you what I know about the digital world, the coming revolution. He said, okay, well, Two years ago, he told me, Ty, I know, now know how to make enough money. He was working for me. He now travels the world. He's been back in the U.S. one month in the last two years. He met a girl who worked for me, too. They both um, moved, back, moved to Europe. They make uh, good months. They do 600000 gross. They own a company called Omen All. I'll put a link right here. 
it's a it's like inspirational yoga stuff. Om and Ah. Right here, they own this company, Om and Ah London, right there. That's not her, but this company right here, bad month they make 60,000, good months they make 100 to 200,000 net. You know where he is right now? Let me show you. I'm going to show you a picture he sent me. He is in the Serengeti. He does all his work. He figured out that a Google Pixel phone works everywhere in America. Here's his video. This is what he sent me the other day. He goes, Ty, you got to come hang with me. He's riding. He's in Zimbabwe right now. He has, he has a giraffes in his front. He has a zebra in his front yard. He went from rags to riches. He was just like me. We grew up together. Uh, my mom was a single mom, so we had a little bit less money than his mom and dad, but they were like, they didn't have money. You know what I'm saying? So the game right here, the game right here is real. That's a real business. It's a well done website. So well done funnels. They all learn that. That's my best friend and a woman who worked for me and they end up getting married. So how much do you need to start? They started this with nothing. This started with nothing. What do you mean? Best way to make zero to hundred thousand. If I don't make a hundred thousand dollars a day, I'll have a heart attack at this point in my life. So when people come to me and go, Ty, can you teach me how to make 100,000 a year? I'm like, $100,000 a year? This is chump change. The only problem, the only thing that separates from you from me is I had people train me and you didn't. That's it. And you might have been more tricked than me. I never got tricked into getting in college debt. My entire college, I paid as I went. You know why? I don't, <laughs> because I didn't have enough. Tiny millionaire mentors. New Zealand, Gary Townsend, uh, Australia, Tasmania, Bill Mollison, Virginia. Joel Salatin, my first mentor. Mississippi, Dr. Gordon Hazard. Ireland, Michael Murphy. All these people just said, here's how I go. People I never met before. When I first got started, Corey Rudel had an online program. I paid over $400 for it. I remember it was all the money I had in the world at the time. You couldn't even do what I'm talking about now because there was no social media back then. But he showed me how to use Google AdWords. That's the difference between me and you. I met Corey Rudel before he died. That's the difference. And now I've built up, I have 15 millionaire mentors. This is the difference. So you gotta ask yourself, like, all of those of you on YouTube, if it's crashing, go over to Instagram. So, what else do I have to say? If anybody's getting in the test group here. Springs Hill, Alejandro Shiva, right here. I built myself my own app. From Tucson, Arizona. Kevin McCoy, North Richlands, Texas. R oh. That's, some, <laughs> that's one of my guys doing a test payment. <laughs> I was going to be like, Rehan, I know him. Lexington Garris, Fresno, California. Ali Para. Oh, I thought it's Michael Berg, Stockholm, Sweden. I love Sweden. I lived there for a little while. It's a great place. Beautiful place. Sherard D, Lomita, California. Some people are getting in the whole program, and some people, like Isaac got in the whole program for Chicago, Illinois, and some people are picking, you can mix and match. So that's fine too. What other questions should I answer? Is Google Ads still useful? Absolutely. Much more made the biggest difference ever. People, I'm in Trinidad, lifestyle arbitrage. A lot of you, you know what? I'm gonna tell you what to do right now. If you live outside the US, you got a great scenario. Sell into the US while you live in India, Pakistan, Mexico. I mean, the cost of living is nothing. Nothing. Yotai, who is the guy from North Richland Hills? Well, I don't know if I should give out his name, but uh, for those of you in the, the Raptors suck. Somebody's on the wrong YouTube channel. He thought he was watching a Raptors game. Are you a fan of Elon Musk? Yes. Uh, Nava.sa. Sack said, I'm hitting 45,000 this month. Thank you, Ty. Awesome. Hey, Nava, send me an email. I always document each year taking 300 people from rags to riches. So email me. Viral videos on Instagram. How about that? Viral videos on YouTube. Virality is a real thing. Have I met Elon Musk? Yep. Yeah.
three, four times. Ty definitely took notes. I've been home after my car accident. This is a good way to learn more. Glad and made it from the start. Definitely in the rags phase, but ready to grow. Ty, getting into the program is a problem in the small countries outside of the US, 2000 US. So, I mean, no, no, no. You live in Brazil, you get a couple, two American clients, you're done. You're just chilling in the beaches of chilling. Rick? Oh, Rick's not here. Rick was getting his Brazilian wax done. <laughs> Ty, I know you teach SMMA, but do you do it yourself? Yep, I own 15 brands. I do it for my own brands. I don't really like, I don't do it for other brands, but I teach you how to do it for other brands. I got my own brand. I got enough companies. I got Mentor Box. We got a big farmer's box, food business. I got 15 other brands. I got real estate deals that I use. So I just do it for my, eventually some of you will become moguls and you can get your own. You can just run social media marketing for your own stuff. But when you're starting out, you don't have anything. Why does Google say your net worth is $5 million? I don't know. Because Google's e easy to hack. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> I don't know. I'm always fascinated by people go, Ty, I should listen to this person because they have a higher net worth than this person. Well, by that logic, we should only listen to Jeff Bezos because everybody else can be trumped by Jeff Bezos. But we actually shouldn't listen to Jeff Bezos because in today's dollars, Rockefeller had $600 billion. He dwarfed all the billionaires combined. So you should only be reading Rockefeller books, right? People don't even know how to use their brain. People don't even know how to use their brain. So this business is worth $50 million. So how am my net worth going to be $5 million? 80. Yeah, 80. It's more like 80, but conservatively 50 million. That uh, one of my brands. Best way to build equity, best way to build wealth is build brands, 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 brands. That's the only thing I have against drop shipping. That's the only thing I have against drop shipping. Only drop ship to turn it into a brand, in my opinion. Does Kylie Jenner have more money than you selling makeup? Kylie Jenner got more money than almost anybody if you age adjusted. She's a billionaire. So she's she's a monster right now. I mean, she's she's made more money than Mark Zuckerberg in the same amount of life. How to get clients inside the US? This was all how to do it. Here. Have you ever invested in social media? Uh, not exactly sure what that means. Have I ever invested money doing it? Well, I did giveaways. Yes, I've invested eight figures into social media growth. Eight figures, more than 10 million bucks, way more. Ty, how do I start learning if I have no money or I'm young? Rewatch this video. That's how. Someone says Kylie Jenner is not self made. Okay, nobody's self made. You got a cell phone. 10 million kids born with HIV. Like, somebody always got it worse and better than you. What's the point? Kylie Jenner is smarter than you think. And by the way, here's the way to think about it. She monetized 10 to 20 million followers on Snapchat, for example. That's where she really started into a uh, billion dollars. So if you have, like, one hundredth of that, you should be able to leverage it into $10 million. She's more talented than people think, I think. Ty, is the Jordan Belford program included? No, Jordan Belford is, un is different than me. Um, okay, so here's all the spring sale stuff that you're gonna get. I guess I'll end with this. Uh, what you're gonna get? You're gonna get 139 video lessons. This is just for one of the programs. It's already 45 hours, 50 hours of life of past live training recording. You're gonna learn from 40 different experts, not just me. So it's 95 hours of training over four months. Um, how to think like a gold miner can help you overcome rejection, drastically reduce the time it takes to close your first client. This low hanging fruit, 99% of businesses don't grab that once you help them implement will almost immediately improve their revenue. And this is not related to social media. Once you show them this, you're gonna look like a hero. The exact type of services to offer in your contract that makes paying you $1,000 a month minimum a no-brainer decision. And we're going to give you a downloadable pricing template PDF. So we give you PDFs inside the program. How to turn $100 in ad spend into 1,000 plus email leads within three days. Note the average revenue on an email lead is a dollar a month. So if you do the math, that's potentially spending 100 turning it into 1,000 
dollars a month, thousand percent ROI. Three must do steps before you start looking for a client. The last one helps you overcome procrastination. People sometimes get intimidated in the program. We're gonna walk you right through this. What type of vocabulary and words to use when naming your agency? How do you name the agency? Some people have weird names, it messes you up. Um, the exact offer structure that millionaire Joe Soto uses when creating campaigns for his clients with this step-by-step -step video. Downloadable spreadsheets with formulas you can use to calculate the lifetime value of a happy customer for any type of business. These are crucial for convincing data-driven business owners to pay you one to $10,000 a month. You're getting this all inside the program. Click in the little link here. Ty, can you take your Adderall? <laughs> I've never taken Adderall in my life. Maybe I should. Uh, how starting an LBA can help you find more local clients uh, than you have time to deal with on your own. Warning, do not implement this until you're ready to scale. This is how you make big money. We teach you how to start and how to scale. The secret Google key phrase that helps you find businesses already paying for marketing. How to get Facebook videos for less than point. This is huge. If you can get them views, they're gonna love you forever. Look at that number. It's not even two cents. It's a hundredth of a, a hundredth of a hundredth cent each. A four letter acronym I use to personally create viral videos. This is how I got to over 1.7 billion minutes. Then you're gonna, that's just for SMMA. Then there's Ecom, which has 58, has 33 hours of training, 20 plus different e-commerce experts teaching you. So we're gonna talk about three free websites to find the product. Anyway, I'm gonna run out, I'm gonna need ADD to, re, uh, uh, Adderall to read this whole thing. <laughs> if you just go to the link, you can read it yourself and save my vocal cords. How much for this program? You can get the whole thing, is 497 instead of 2,500 bucks, just for the spring. I did this in Black Friday and it helped a lot of people. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna do it again. Or if you're already in one of the programs, you can just get individual ones. So you're gonna get SMMA, Social Media Marketing Agency. You're gonna get Ecom, how to sell online, e-commerce. You're gonna get real estate investing. Are they here? And you're gonna get the credit repair mentor program. That credit one gonna save some of your life. Hey, uh, Armand, are you here? Here you go. Let me read some of the credit stuff you're gonna get. Okay. A minute and 20 left on Insta. You got a minute and 20 left on Insta, then I'm gonna go. How to hack credit card points and travel 100% for free and luxury, enjoying first class flights. How to force banks to compete for your business and offer you exclusive rewards. How to avoid the little note mistakes that most people make that lower their credit scores, okay? The $2.95 gifts that have an 83% chance of convincing car and hotel employees to provide you with upgrades worth over $1,000. The two card combo you can use to achieve diamond and gold level rewards. How to claim $100 for free without making a single purchase. How to get a government agency to fight on your behalf and remove derogatory marks from your permanent record. This right here is almost the most important part of the credit program. I've seen people's credit score jump in one to 200 points in like a month, okay? How to get them to waive the, the fees, how to achieve the baller status, uh, the exact site and script we use to fix and boost my credit score. He, I do, did this on myself as a test. It bumped me 109 points in seven days. How about that? So, oh, what else? 12 seconds left. 12 seconds left. Okay, I gotta give some money away. Come right back, Instagram. I'm about to give this money away. Is there a poverty discount detail? <laughs> that is the, that one. Um, can these use be used internationally? Yes, sir. Definitely. Definitely. Why do you hate college degrees? I don't hate college degrees. I don't. And this is America. How you doing? I'm just finishing up here real quick, doing a little live call. Uh, Ty, I've been watching every live stream. How to start from scratch. I, business God, can we connect? I'm looking for another mentor. Ty, I've been subscribed for four years. How much money are you giving out? Oh, is this Instagram working? Hold on. Yeah, I just reset it. Okay, let's give some money away. Who needs some money? I said I'm gonna give a thousand. I'm gonna give two people. I'm gonna give three people. No, four. I got four platforms. I'm gonna give four platforms. 250 bucks each. So first we're gonna start with YouTube. 
Here we go. YouTube. Ty, why are you so generous with your knowledge? I don't know. What goes around comes around. You help a lot of people, it comes back to you in all ways, financially and otherwise. Same with giving money away. What goes around comes around. Build goodwill in this world. Okay. $250 on YouTube for people who have been paying attention. What was the name of the restaurant that I did the first example in terms of who I would go to in LA? What was the name on YouTube of the restaurant? I'm watching. Somebody wrote Stacks. Oh, there's the first one I found. Oh, man. Holy crap. Here, let me, I'm going to have to scroll up. I'm scrolling up the first, oh, damn it. Hold on one second, people. I can scroll up and I can find it because one guy spelled it wrong. He's going to be pissed. He wrote, look at it. Oh, no, I lost it. Did you find it? Yeah, I see it right here. What's the name? I think, uh, man, I lost it. It's Joss or something. But... All right, we lost this person. Okay, I'm going to start over. That came too fast. Okay. Remember, it's not the first person to do it. It's the first one I see. So I'm purposely not looking at YouTube. Tell me when to stop, because this thing goes too fast. Stop. Stop. Here we go. Eagles for life. Eagles, F-O, life. Wrote catch. The first one I saw, not the first one. Eagles for life. I'm going to do Eagle for life. You need to reply with your cash app so that I can know how to send you the money. Cash app or PayPal? PayPal always bans me for giving money away, which is wonderful. So genius of PayPal. If you use their service too much, they shut you down. Yay. <laughs> Yay for dumb businesses. How dare you actually use our service a lot, Ty? Um, okay. Let's go to round two, which is Facebook. I've neglected Facebook this entire live call. Sorry. There's 239 comments I didn't see. Okay. Facebook, to win the 250, people pay paying attention. What was the name of the site that you can use to analyze people's websites for free? Facebook. Facebook. Do, 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 Facebook, here we go. Dun, 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 Facebook got such a lag, man. Almost. All right. Mm, let me see, let me make sure I, okay, I see the answer. Okay, Chris Solita got it. It's Page Speed Insights. You can see it right there. The other person wrote Google Insight. You were close, David Sierra, but I gotta, I gotta be what, that's what it says right there. No, no, can't argue that. PageSpeed Insights, Chris Solita, 250 bucks. Now we're moving to Twitter. Poor old lowly Twitter. Pay, sending people money who've been paying attention. What was the name of the gym that I gave as an example that you could get as your first customer? Twitter, twit, tweeter, tweeter, twit. Who saw the Joe Rogan Twitter thing with like Jack Dorsey and all them debating? Somebody wrote, okay, you guys should head over, follow me on Twitter, Planet Fitness. No. <laughs> People are just trying to make ones up. Nope. 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 Just writing the same thing as the other person who lost one ain't going to win. Twitter, 250 $250. Fitness for life is not even close. Getting cold. There you go. K-L-I-R Raymond. Granite Gym. K-L-I-R Raymond. Reply with your cash app or PayPal email. Sending you 250 bucks. K-L-I-R Raymond. Okay, we got last but not least. We have Instagram. Which people will... Really go crazy trying to win. I'm back to doing that Donald Trump talking thing that he did. <laughs> I'll do this, then they'll take me to court, and then I'll be subpoenaed, and then I'll, uh, that is a, Donald Trump, did you see what he did today? Donald Trump is by far the most entertaining president of all time. Yeah. Did you see what he called 
the Apple CEO today? No. He has him. At the, you know, his name is Tim Cook. He goes, he says, they're sitting at a table. He goes, thank you very much, Tim Apple. He called him Tim <laughs> Apple. It's a funny, it, I have not laughed at anything a president has done. It is fun. I got to show you this. Tim Apple. It is the most trending thing on Tim Apple. The president just called Apple CEO Tim Apple. <laughs> Wait, this is too, and it was live, so you like had no choice but to, to stream it. I want to be called Tim. A I want to be called Thai Social Media. Here, here we go. trying to be mean we appreciate it very much tim apple <laughs> that is so funny that i'm near death man i've been watching that thing all day i mean it came out a few like an hour ago tim has a long trump has a long history of fly. this is why it's funny mark my words donald trump was didn't want to forget his name so he was using like a mnemonic trick you know he'll be like elon musk tesla and he probably was supposed to be in his mind, Tim Cook Apple, but he forgot to cook, so he just came out with Tim Apple. Thank you very much, Tim Apple. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this again. I got to watch this twice. This is funny. I don't care what side, if you're a Republican. We appreciate it very much, Tim Apple. <laughs> <laughs> and he says he has a certain accent. Very much, Tim Apple. <laughs> Oh, man, I was dying out here. He called him Tim Apple. I'm gonna start, that's the best thing about Donald Trump, how he calls me, he called Little Marco, he called Low Energy Jeb. What, what were some other funny ones he had? That's just funny. Uh, Ty's been smoking tonight. Nope. <clears throat> Izzy says, please buy me some dinner tonight. Okay. Laggy IG, that's what I'm going to call it. Mitchell, okay, Nancy, yeah, what is it called now, Nancy Pelosi, like Pocahontas, what's, no, no, what's the, yeah, Pocahontas, because <laughs> she, she said she was Native American, but she's only like 5%, so he calls her Pocahontas, that was Elizabeth Warren. that's Elizabeth Warren, thank you, yeah, what is Pelosi, what does she, call, does he have a name for AOC, I want to have that job, I want to be president and just think of names for people, <laughs> Okay. All right. Instagram, who wants this cash? $250. Survey says. Uh, uh, let's see. What should I do? What have I been talking about? Okay. What was the Google site speed score for the first restaurant? What was their mobile speed score? What was it? I'm gonna rename myself. What could I call myself? Ty Knowledge? People say that a lot. Ty, you're literally amazing. I'm gonna call myself literally Ty. Okay, here's the first one. The first one I see is ooh underscore Ari. <laughs> That's, okay, here it is, 0008. H underscore A R I. Ooh, Ari wins 250. I just gave away a thousand bucks, but more importantly, if you watch the replay of this, I didn't just give a man a fish or a woman a fish. I showed you how to fish. Legit, 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 legit. Let's see here what comes up on YouTube. Zero to 100K. Let me see if there's any good YouTube videos on how, how to go, let me just look here. There's building a crypto portfolio. Let me do this. Go from, how, let's just say how to make 100K. Let's see what YouTube comes up with. Because YouTube got some bad advice. How to create a website, how to make 100K in a year, how to make 100K. 
How to make 100K in America, Money Monday. Let's look at what's got the most views. Mm. Make 100K a year as a wedding photographer. Bait Sun 87, two for one, 100K and 100, oh, that's FIFA. Oh, here's the most, 10 legit ways to make money. This has 3.8 million views. Okay, let's see this. Oh, this is an ad. This guy's ad looks like my ads. Hey, wait a second. Somebody's copying me. Okay, here we go. Let's see if this advice is better than the advice I gave you. You can actually make money online? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. And all you need is a computer or phone with internet access. So, in this video, I'm going to show you 10 websites where you can actually start making some side cash. Or, if you're really serious, some good money. Isn't that amazing? On some of these websites, you can actually make as much as $100 a day or even more. And the best part is, the money. <laughs> To work more. Oh, oh my god. Video, start making some money. Upwork. Here's a tip if you're considering working on Upwork for two, especially to get monetized. YouTube. This is rough advice. I'm going to tell you this right here. Quickest way to make zero to 100 grand is not to be a YouTube influencer. Let me tell you that. You know how many people trying to be a YouTube influencer? A few of them make it, but. Which means you'll need 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers in the last 12 months. Bad advice. YouTube through paid search. Mechanical Turk is kind of like Upwork. Doing it's Mechanical like, Turk work? You know what Mechanical like, Turk is? It's like crappiest jobs in the world. So get a crappy job. Write the book. You know how hard it is to make 100 grand a year writing a book? On average, you will get $3 profit per book, depending on the deal you have. You gotta sell 30,000 copies of a book. You know how few people sell 30,000 cop copies of a book? Bad advice. While making some good old for $100,000 publishing Kindle ebooks on Amazon. And you can choose to be number some affiliates pay you. Amazon affiliates. I've made six figures on Amazon affiliates. You're not going to go rags to riches this year and make 100 grand on Amazon affiliates. Very few people will. As much as 75% for selling their service, such as web sell with form where you can buy or sell digital media. Sell photos on Shutterstock? This advice is going from good to bad. Oh, man. Do not do Shutterstock. You know how many pictures you'd have to sell? Become a pet walker. Oof. This advice, Sam. There you go. In the next 60 seconds, I'm going to be showing you how you. Fiverr. So you get paid five bucks <laughs> a lot of times, 20,000 times. What is this? You can get paid $1,000, $2,000, or more per month to do something that takes literally less than five minutes to do. And I'm actually going to refresh my screen. Architecture. Man, there's a lot of people out there doing the stuff that I do, huh? I think I started it all. I should blame myself. No one else was really doing it. I was the first person on YouTube doing it like that, YouTube ads. That's all right. The greatest form of flattery is imitation. My man Ty, the biggest roaster. <laughs> yeah, this is advice out Ty wannabes. <laughs> I don't know if they're wannabes. They're just, I, I don't hate on people trying to make their money. It's okay. There's lots of space out there for people to make money. I'm not a jealous person. If people copy my stuff, I don't really care. Someone said you like Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy. <laughs> yeah. I got to find that Soldier Have you seen this, Ben? No, it's Drake. Why? Because he was locked up. Yeah. Okay, and I was locked up too, nigga. Yo! Out, yo, me and Bill ain't beat for Chris Brown and was finna box and with Floyd Mayweather. He didn't beat with Drake, the biggest rapper in the world. He gets up. Anytime someone says that, I just go, Drake! Oh, that's a funny video, man. Okay, it's kind of old now, but it's still funny. So 
Somebody's still trying to guess on the gym. You must be watching on a serious delay because they're like, Granite Gym. <laughs> that was like 45 minutes, uh, not 14, 45, 15. Anyway, I'm out. Good luck out there. I hope a handful of you get in the program. We got the spring sale. It ain't gonna be spring for long. Winter is coming and staying for some people. You know what I mean? So I hope some of you get out of the winter because winter's no fun, man. I've been in the winter. I've stayed in the winter longer than I've had to. And uh, yeah, let me see here. Let me read off the name as I end here of people who got in the spring sale. Javier Lopez, Lexington Garrick, Fresno. Javier Lopez in Mineral Wells, West Virginia. Cal Watson got it, got it from Red Deer, Alberta. I already read that. Dion Kohler from Louisville, Kentucky. Andres Moreno didn't put a location. McKelly Williams didn't put a location. Paul Rees in Los Angeles. Cal Watson in, oh no, I already read that one. Joy Tan, Singapore. Miguel Adam, Newark, Ohio. There's a Newark, Ohio? Matthew Lejeune, Boston. Kaylee Roylance, Miami, Florida. Ruben Garcia, Pacoma, California. Alejandro Shiva, Tucson, Arizona. Kevin McCoy, North Richland. I could keep doing this. People in Pakistan, San Diego, California, Florida, Tennessee, Stockholm. It's all over the world. Stockport, Great Bit, Britain? Man. Oh, we got someone from Johannesburg, South Africa. Talk to you guys later. Goodbye. Dre?